Hey everyone, it's Erin. We're back with dun, 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 a ginormous book haul. Oh my god. Okay, so it was my birthday a couple weeks ago. I got a shit ton of books and I also I found a local bookstore. It's a romance bookstore run by two sisters. It's called The Rip Bodice, which I find enormously entertaining. Um, and I couldn't stop but go in there and get some more books because that's what I do. So anyways, today I've got some wine. It's actually dessert wine that I got also for my birthday, which is quite delicious. So cheers and let's get right into it. Okay, so just to warn you, some of these books are older. Some of them are new releases. Some of them are from last month. I know, I'm sorry, but... I have a whole bunch of mix. A lot of these are YA. Some of them are adult. Um, and we'll get into which ones I'm probably going to be adding to my TBR list like right away. And some I'll probably wait. So the first one is Savage Blue by um, Zareda Cordova. If I pronounce any of these names wrong, I'm sorry. I'm human. It's happened. So sorry. Um, okay, so Savage Blue. I don't know. It was giving me real like Percy Jackson vibes. <laughs> and uh, it's about a merman. And like I'm also you know, into, I uh, was, you know, Game of Thrones is on right now, and Theon and Salt Throne and stuff like that, so I kind of, like, been craving something like that a little bit, and I don't know, it looked really cool, and the cover looked kind of awesome, so I decided to pick this one up. It was published in 2013. Uh, I haven't heard too much about it, but I don't know, I was intrigued, so we'll see where this lands. Next one, Reign of Shadow, Sophie Jordan, which came out this year. I'm not entirely sure, but it must have been recently. Uh, I read her other series, Firelight. It's about the dragons, which I loved. Um, so I'm really excited to dive into this one, which is very much more like magic and all that kind of stuff. So, and I love the cover; it was really cool. So I'm really excited to dive into this one too. Okay, um, Star Touched Queen. I've been seeing so many really great reviews on this one, um, based off of Indian mythology, Hades and Persephone retelling, which is all-time favorite Greek myth. So I'm so excited to delve into this one with uh, non-Western mythology, which I find really interesting, and it's like political intrigue and stuff like that. So I'm so excited to get into this one. This one I probably put on the top of my list. Um, and then we can like figure out together if we like it. So tell me if you read it so far. It just came out um, earlier this month. And I definitely am planning on reading this like right away. So tell me in the comments if you've read it and what you thought so far. So, but I'm very excited to read this one. Okay, the next one is an adult kind of romance, um, but like paranormal romance, I guess, kind of more like women's fiction. Um, this was actually a birthday gift from one of my really good friends from the bookstore, the romance bookstore that we went to. This is The Thinking Woman's Guide to Real Magic by Emily Croy Barker. Um, and I've seen a lot of things or, or like um, compare it to The Discovery of Witches, which I actually hated. I know I'm gonna get so much hate for that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I really did not like Discovery of Witches. I thought it was pretty terrible. I couldn't get very far into it. There, by the third yoga class, I was done. I'm sorry, I can't. I just can't. No, I don't want it. But anyways, this one seemed like um, the main character is really smart. Uh, I've heard a lot of like Hermione in grad school. And so I'm all about that. So I'm definitely looking to give it a try. It seems like it's got a lot of on the romance side, which is not huge, not a number one on my list, but I'll be definitely interested to pick it up um, and check it out. So that's next. And then, okay, this is... Getting into the ones that are a little bit um, not so new, one of them I'm a little ashamed about, but okay. I got Lady Midnight, I know this was a big thing from April that it came out and everybody read it, everybody loved it, it was a whole big thing. First of all, can you see how much this is? This is a lot of pages. Cassandra Clare, like I don't know how you do this, but this is, inten this is intense, like this is, this is a lot. Cassandra Clare. Like, do you sleep? Probably not. Anyways, okay, so the reason, I'm gonna be perfectly honest, 
I have not read. <sighs> I have not read City of Heavenly Fire. I have not read it. I'm sorry. It's been okay. This is the thing. I downloaded it in ebook form on my Kindle. I should be just hand in my book card right now. But I was going on a lot of plane rides and my bookshelves could not hold any more books. That was before I did a huge like giveaway of all the old books that I had. And so I got it and I intended to read it and I didn't because it didn't have a physical copy. And then I thought about getting a physical copy and then I didn't and I didn't read it. And then there were so many other books. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I need a drink for that. I'm sorry. Anyways, so I did not want to start this one without reading the last one, but I caved and I got it. So I am going to probably read it. I probably read City of Heavenly Fire first. I have ordered a copy, a physical copy on Amazon. I will read that. I will read this soon, but if you are a latecomer to this, have no fear. We will read it together, okay? All right. I'm glad we could have that chat because I was feeling some shame, gotta say. Okay, also, I have my TARDIS bookmark that I'm in love with. And you can see it matches my, my TARDIS phone case. <laughs> Clearly, I've gone off the deep end. But that's okay. This was a gift, too. I didn't actually physically buy this for myself. So somebody knew and they got this for me because they said, hey... There's a TARDIS bookmark. I know who this would be perfect for. Erin. And that's what happened. So, now I'm going to use it. Alright, so, now I have Truth Witch by Susan Dennert. And I'm really excited about this one because this seems like, like an amazing, like amazing, like strong women are everywhere in these books. And I've been seeing this one around and I was sort of, it's been on my Amazon wish list. I sort of na 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 like danced around it and I saw in the bookstore and I was like getting it. I'm getting it. There's no I just was in that mood. I'm really excited. This looks like it's magic, kick ass women. I'm so excited about all the kick ass women in these books recently. Like even like all the like queens, red queen, star touch queen, queens all over the place. But they're like Stro they're like strong women. I really am digging that. Okay, I'm gonna have a sip before I reveal the last book to you because it's that good. Oh, oh my god, so good. Okay, last one. Bam, Trials of Apollo, Rick Riordan. Okay, so I'm so excited about this one because I'm a huge fan of all the Percy Jackson books, the Kane Chronicles, Heroes of Olympus, all of it. Like, I've read all of it. Only one I haven't read is Magnus Chase, um, the new, um, nor like, Norwegian Viking myth one. I have it. I own a physical copy of it. I haven't read it yet because I know once you go down that path, you just, like, there's no stopping. So, I've already, I started this, like, you know, maybe yesterday or whatever. I'm already, like, a good hundred and some pages in. This one is in the same world as Percy Jackson. It stars Apollo. He's obviously been downgraded from immortal to mortal again. And it's kind of about him and his adventures and, and um, exploits and stuff like that. Anyways, so I was so excited when I knew that he was going to do one starring, like, Apollo as a central character. And it's about him. And um, it's very Percy Jackson with a little bit more pop culture references. I see, like a little bit more like things in the modern day which I find kind of funny but if you're into Percy Jackson and his style it's very much the same kind of quick read fast paced um middle grade that I think is like really really great in that level and it's something I don't see as often I will definitely be reviewing this one really soon probably this week because i'll probably end up finishing this like tomorrow so that's what happens depends on how tired i am from work but because i know everybody's on vacation and summer vacation all that stuff and on one hand 
I wish I was there and then on the other hand that would mean that I have to go back to school and have to do schoolwork again and I'm kind of glad that I never have to do that ever again so yeah anyways all right so I will take my ginormous stack of books and take it oh I just almost dropped that take it and put it over on my shelf tell me which of these would you start reading right now right now and uh yeah tell me which ones you've read which ones you're excited to read which of these have you not heard about that i just randomly pulled out of nowhere out of thin air i'm out guys i'll see you next time